Clash fans, this is Trample Damage, coming to you today with three goals in mind. We will be extolling the virtues of seven lightning spells and an earthquake. We will be talking about the beauty and wonder of the new Headhunter troop. And we'll be talking about the benefits of planning an attack, which I know you guys take for granted. Many people do not do so. So HHYY, aka one of the greatest attackers that I've ever had a chance to work with. Very glad to have him in the clan. Uh, ripped this base apart. Uh, we needed a like a 28% one star in order to win the war, and he said, I'm going to triple it, and we will win by two. So uh, we're going to start with the lightning spells over here on the air defense and the air sweeper and that clan castle, because if you wipe out a clan castle before the troops come out, they will never come out. So before we jump into it, make sure to drop a comment down below if you like the video. Go ahead and hit the like button, and go ahead and subscribe to the channel if you're not already subscribed. Tell your clanmates there's a lot of cool stuff to take a look at here. So we'll jump into this right away. Now these, uh, don't just think that you can copy this army composition and wipe out any base that you come across, because it takes a lot of careful planning. So there you go, seven lightning spells, took out that air defense and the air sweeper. Then the earthquake spell you see dropped more on the inside here so that it can also hit these other high hit point buildings as well. So with that softening up and dismantling of a portion of the base, we move over here to bringing in an ice golem. Now you'll see here we have two ice golems and two headhunters. The two headhunters are going to be deployed, one for the queen and one for the royal champion. One ice golem will be to distract the heroes for a moment. The other ice golem will be used over here in conjunction with the royal champion as we literally pick this base apart. So one down, the virtues of the lightning spells and earthquake. Number two, extolling the virtues of the new headhunter. Mind you, these are level two headhunters. Now this, this ice golem is not going to last long, but behind that barbarian king, you see the queen and the royal champion both ready to go. And here come a headhunter, each for the archer queen and the royal champion. So the ice golem gets frozen. The archer queen doesn't even have a chance to take a shot at that, royal, that uh, headhunter. Oh, my battery's dying before it goes down. Now, fortunately, you'll see those giant bombs go down. Doesn't really disturb the Archer Queen at all. Baby Dragon picking off a few things over here. So the King is now going to be tanking for the Archer Queen, taking some shots. Archer Queen comes in behind here. And fortunately, I'm going to speed that along just a little, has enough juice to get through the gold storage, those three hidden Teslas before the Inferno Tower locks onto her. One, two, three. Royal, uh, the Royal Cloak ability is triggered, and presto, that has gone down. Now, HHYY did have a Stone Slammer and a Battle Blimp. The Battle Blimp was just in case we needed to dive in there and take out the Town Hall. But we now move to the next quadrant of the attack, where an Ice Golem fronts for the Royal Champion, who comes in, and because this nice little cluster of defenses here, they're all shooting at the Ice Golem, which again, doesn't last very long, but freezes up all that stuff, mind you, Minions! Start cleaning as soon as possible when you're doing a Lava Loon attack. A Royal Champion and now manages to get through a couple of these defenses before everything turns back on from that freeze being done. Three Balloons, Stone Slammer, Royal Champion pops her ability, and... Bing, 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 clears a nice path there, right? So the Balloons and the Stone Slammer are just going to come straight in here. Now we're going to move down to the corner here and scroll out a little bit. The Royal Champion is ultimately going to wind up taking out all of this stuff and the Stone Slammer is going to head in toward that Eagle Artillery. So now, traditional Lalo. We'll come back to that, but that's what's going to happen. Stone Slammer gets the Eagle, Royal Champion hits this Archer Tower, and this Wizard Tower, which is what gets the Stone Slammer to head to the middle. She takes out this Air Defense and then comes back to join us. Now you're going to see here clusters of three balloons on each of these defenses. we got three balloons for the Cannon, three balloons for the Wizard Tower, three balloons for the Archer Tower, three balloons for the Bomb Tower, which they went there. The... You see these balloons are heading toward the Archer Tower instead of the Bomb Tower. That Lava Hound just taking a lot of damage as it's heading across to this air defense, but really all it's doing is trying to soak up damage from these units that could be hurting our balloons. Drop a haste spell in there to make everybody move nice and quick, and then we progress down here. You see how quickly this base is going down. Now the Royal Champion, you see, like I said, she's up heading that way. Stone Slammer has joined the fray. We've got the other Lava Hound now coming in down here to head for that air defense. Tanking for three balloons, three balloons, three balloons, more balloons. And it is, I think we see minions coming in here in a moment. Lava Hound pops. All those defenses. There we go, minions. I want to go back. La Loon, you make sure you are cleaning as you go. We got more minions in there. Balloons running amok. Minions down here. 
We still have one haste spell and the eternal tome to get us through one wizard tower and an air defense and a scatter shot. So here comes the last haste spell. So all we used in this attack was two haste spells and a freeze in addition to the seven lightnings and the earthquake. And that will do it. Three virtues, seven lightning and an earthquake, the headhunter and planning. These quadrant bases, you can actually pick these apart if you plan each of them as their own little maps. What am I going to do to take out this stuff? What am I going to do to take out this stuff? And this stuff, and this stuff, and you get a three star from an incredible attacker. Like I said, make sure to drop a like on the video, comment down below if you have any questions, you want to see more stuff like this. We're going to try and bring you some more cool new lightning spell stuff. In the meantime, you guys keep clashing and tell your friends to check me out. Trample Damage saying, have a good one.